Hi there, I'm Dave and this is Work in VR. So for the last three years or so, I have had a work setup very similar to this. A laptop, a couple of external monitors, and of course, my headset so I can work in VR. Now, using the Immersed app, I can open that app and I see all three of these screens in Immersed and I can add additional virtual screens mm -hmm. and we're off to the races. Everything's great. However, yesterday, the Immersed team released an update to their agent software that runs on your computer that will no longer allow you to connect to external monitors. Now, this is not unexpected because Renji made an announcement that this was coming back on March 1st. However, I think a lot of us expected to log into the app and just see the one screen and have these two screens be ignored in the app. That's not the way it actually works. The way it works is if you have external monitors connected to your laptop, you see this error message and this agent software will not allow you to connect to your computer at all. In order to connect to your computer in Immersed, you actually have to physically unplug the monitors in real life. Now, I looked at how can I make it easy and quick to physically disconnect and reconnect my screens so I can have this set up in the real world, but I can also still have the immersed experience that I enjoy. So in the rest of this video, I will show you what I came up with and it works pretty well, I think. So this is the setup that I had before the software update came out. I've got a docking station. The docking station is powered these are the two inputs from my external monitors. And then I have a series of peripherals. In this case, I've got a USB hub, which connects to other devices like this external hard drive. I've got an audio out cable that goes to a sound bar, so I get great sound. And this is a USB-C hub that is powered and connects data to the computer while delivering power and data to the headset. So that's a great device. But the point is, these three peripherals don't really matter. You might have different peripherals, but whatever peripherals you have, you probably have a docking station and something similar. All of this goes into a USB-C port into the side of my laptop right there. That was the setup that I had prior to the software update. After the software update, after some experimentation, I found two devices that allowed me to get around the problem of being able to quickly disconnect the monitors and reconnect them. One is a second docking station that I have, and I'll show you how I connected that. And the other one is this device, which is a simple magnetic USB-C connector. It just connects magnetically. So I'll show you how I put these together in order to get around this problem. And this is the new setup. All I've done is connected my second docking station that I had. So I've got power coming into it. I moved my peripheral for the USB hub into this docking station. And I moved my peripheral for my USB-C hub for my headset into this docking station. Now I went ahead and chose to leave the audio in, in the uh, old docking station because I only want the sound bar sound when I'm in the real world with my three monitor setup. When I'm in the headset, I don't want that sound, so I just went ahead and left the audio there. So now on the one docking station, I've got my monitors and my audio, and that's it. And all of my other peripherals I put on this docking station. So this docking station goes in to the USB-C port, but I'm using the magnetic clip. And this docking station actually plugs in over here. So I'm getting power to the laptop here along with my peripherals here. So that with the magnetic clip, all I have to do is pop this off and the monitors will go dark and then I'll be able to connect to Immersed. So right now, since I have content on my screens, if you look, I have the warning error message 
on the immersed agent. So all I do is grab this and pop it off. It's that easy. You saw my screens go dark. And then now, if you look at the immersed agent software, it is ready to connect. And it connects and it works just fine. Now, let's say I'm done working and I'm ready to come back out and work in the real world again. All I have to do is grab this magnetic connector and pop it on there. It's that easy. Come back, my external monitors come back and I'm back in business the way I was. So by using two docking stations, this is for anything that needs to get disconnected and reconnected quickly and easily. This docking station is for anything that needs to stay connected. And the one that needs to be disconnected and reconnected is a quick, easy release magnetic connection. So once again, to unplug your monitors, just grab the wire and give it a tug. Your external monitors will go dark and then you'll be ready to connect to Immersed. You're ready to reconnect back in the real world after you're done with Immersed. You just take the little clip and it just pops on. That easy. The monitor will come back on and you'll be back, back in business. So there you have it. That's the method that I came up with in order to very quickly disconnect my monitors, get into Immersed, do my work, and then when I get out of Immersed, really quickly and easily reconnect those monitors. I hope you found that helpful. Now I'd like to leave you with one parting thought on this. On March 1st, whenever Renji, the CEO of Immersed, announced that this change was coming, he said, Immersed's vision is a future free from locking down to physical workstations. And this is one more step in that direction. It also protects our team's time designing, engineering, and supporting use cases that don't align with our longer term vision while focusing on the ones that do, especially as we sprint towards delivering Visor. Now, when I read that, I took that to mean he does not have an army of engineers to throw at this problem. He has a very small team. They're very resource limited. They're spread very thin. He is making a decision in doing this that he knows is going to irritate a certain percentage of his users, but he's making that tough decision in order to keep his team focused on his vision. I love that vision. I think it's awesome. His vision does not involve external monitors like these. Unfortunately, I can't give them up yet because of the constraints of my work. I look forward to a day when I can get rid of them. If you're like me and you can't get rid of your external monitors, then I would just encourage you to show the team some grace, take a breath, and just let this go. Hopefully what I showed you with the dual docking stations can make it easy for you to reduce the friction so it's not that big of a deal. If you found this video useful, then I would encourage you to like and subscribe, and I pray that God blesses you with an awesome day. Thanks for watching.